If I ever got the money, I'd be scary because I would be, I'd, I'd change the city big time. I like birds. Birds like I love music. I love playing music. It's all I really know how to do. It's the only thing that really keeps me going in life. I'd be in a loony bin if it wasn't for music. Keep your fish, your cats and dogs. Cause I like frogs. I like frogs. Cause I like frogs. Yeah, I like frogs. Ten years from now, I'd like to look back and say, wow, I've done a lot of interesting things over this past ten years. I've been to a lot of interesting places and met a lot of interesting people and had a great time doing it. To set a kind of goal is like, that's, you know, that question that you get asked when you're applying for a job, where do you hope to be five years from now? And on a couple of occasions I would look at the guy and say, well, I don't know, maybe I'll have your job. <laughs> While you're playing and, and, and you're doing your thing, you're working on your time and you're working on your showmanship, you're, uh, uh, and you're having fun at the same time because you're interacting with quite a different uh, 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 variety of people from all over the world. For the people that that may stop and listen and get something out of it, or you know, hey, maybe I'll be discovered. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what I've committed myself to do with my music is to just get my music out as many different ways as I can. The band's been together approximately six years. Uh, we've been playing underground for a little over three years. Oh, wow. Oh, maybe at least 20 years. 20 years. 22 years now. That sure gets older. On and off uh, since I was 17. I've been here for nearly 19 years. We're from all over. I grew up in Connecticut, but I lived all over the world. 20 years. I've been playing guitar for about eight or nine years, but I'm self-taught, so I don't think I've progressed that much. My name is Brendan Burke. I'm uh, Jeff Morris. Sunhead. I think it's stupid. I think everything is hacked today. Everyone's a hack. You know? It's like everyone got placed at a job because they knew somebody and this they, they never they never they don't earn it. That just hacks. Um play? What do you mean? I mean well, you mean if anybody just wants to come down here and play? Well they better have their act together, I'll say that. You go out there and you know you can have a really, really good day, but then you can have a really, really bad day and it's it can like really affect you emotionally. Now, so there are some performers that I think could deal from playing in the subway. I, don't be I always consider subway and street gigs halfway between rehearsing and a paying gig. Oh, no! It's a chance to try something out and you know right away because if you don't make any money in the hat. And this song was written by me a few weeks ago on the train. <laughs> Obviously what you're doing is not working. Not everybody's going to make a lot of money down here. Only sp specific, you know, amount of people are going to be making money. You gotta be good. This is the this is the hardest crowd. I mean, what what does Sinatra say? He said, "If I make it here, I'll make it anywhere." It's the truth. come down here for different reasons. I know that a lot of people in general look at 
the performers out and they think, oh, there's a guy out playing and he's hoping for his big break at stardom. But, you know, I was playing music a long time before I started doing this. And, you know, it's never really been about, like, making the big break. It's just basically been about trying to find the best way to present your music to the public. For those of you out there wondering what's going on, these are the annual auditions to perform as part of the Metropolitan Transit Authority's Music Under New York program. Performers who are accepted to the program call in every two weeks and get a permit and sort of grant you a chance to perform down in the subways for a certain amount of time. Before the program, freelancers would just find a spot that they liked and they would just go to the spot and the only thing you had to contend with was the fact that you had to be there before another act or another musician showed up. Start. And now it's like a, a way of like organizing us. I like it because I'm in the program, right, so right, sure. <laughs> that's great. But I, I do think it is a little unfair to people who cannot get into the program. I sent the tape in, and I called them up on the phone, and I asked them what the deal is, how do you get a banner? And uh, I've been looking forward to getting this banner for like 15 years. Muni is okay, but it's, it's much nicer to seem like if you're on your own and you know, you can sort of like have your own particular time and place of where you want to do things. Uh, the one thing about Muni is they control where you're going to play and how long. I auditioned for uh, two times to get a permit, right? But they deny the permit because sometimes they say there's too many musicians and it's too difficult for us to uh, give you a, a permit. You know, uh, you're a pretty good musician, but too many. It'd be nice if musicians could play in the subway without a badge, which they can if it's not amplified. Music and art come under the same laws as, as commerce, so um, you'd wind up probably having a lot of people selling, selling stuff on the street as well. I guess they have to have some regulation, otherwise they'd be you know, it'd be an open market all the time. This is it, man. I am going to get it because I just have this feeling that I'm going to get a banner. I really do. I remember that last time I, to I talked to you, you said that you had the banner. What happened? Like, I thought you no, had no, it. No, no, I, I pretty, pretty like, much thought I had it in my pocket, but then uh, they told me that they only allowed a certain amount of banners a year. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because they called me up and said I had it. Oh, really? And then they called me back and told me I did